Cats and Kittens, Four Swords have infiltrated Weekly Mod Showcase number 3. The ultimate crossover has finally happened. Thanks to the auto build ninjutsu mod by Mitzer Sage, we have successfully duplicated Link. I also combined the matching hero outfits from last week by Taco. We think outside the box. Innovation that excites. Papa John's. Our destination is in the distance. We must cleanse the camp of evil. Oh. Well, let's take care of these guys first. All right, oh. we came here to chew bubble gum and be a subpar Zelda game, and we're all out of gum. Let's hit him with the Zaza Red. Okie dokie, ho ho. Come on, just like that, Red. There we go. Oh, I almost got the chain combo. Did you guys hear that? All right, let's finish him off, boys. Shouldn't take too long. And I get my chain combo. Well done, lads. She's right there. Infiltration time, baby. Oh. This is my floor. Yahoo! How could this happen? All right, boyos, let's give him the what for. Everybody in position? Attack pattern asparagus. Go now. Oh, man, we're giving them worse punishment than when Zelda fans had to buy four Game Boy Advances just to play Four Swords Adventures. You okay, bud? Okay, that's enough Bokoblin abuse for now. Also, there are various other abilities with the auto build ninjutsu as well. I won't even pretend to know how to announce them, but these abilities are water, fire, ice, Electricity, Dazzle Fruit, Wind, an Explosion, a Lizolfo Spawner, Moto Bud, our Link Cloner, a Doggy Spawner, and Zero Gravity. There's also a mod that gives us very lore accurate Twilight Princess hair. Rather than being long and untied in the back, it's trimmed up to give us that authentic look. Say what you will about Twilight Princess, but it definitely has one of the coolest looking links. Speaking of Twilight Princess, there's a mod by Suspenzo that gives us the Gale Boomerang. I tried finding some monkeys in the barren woods to throw this at, but to no avail. Circling back to Erebus Equity, there's also the Ocarina of Time iteration of the haircut. Gotta love the pursuit of authenticity by these modders. But what if you don't like hair? What if you wish to be a bald king? Well, the Bald Link mod by Lintenzo does just this. But there's something a little familiar about this mod. I can't quite put my finger on it. Speaking of finger, you could also cosplay as one of the many bald characters from Breaking Bad and Cook. Jesse, what is this? I don't know what's wrong with me, Mr. White. I... The visible Raru's arm for all armors by Melamo Carlos allows you to see all of Raru's arm on any armor. This is so cool, just because I think this is how it should have been in the base game, just to differentiate from Breath of the Wild a bit more. Kind of reminds me of the Winter Soldier. Close your mouth, Link. No, seriously though. This mod by Judgemon has allowed Link to no longer be a mouth breather. This is one of those mods I didn't know I needed until I threw it on. Now Link just looks like a lobotomized derp to me in the base game. Speaking of mods I didn't know I needed until flipping it on, the Invisible Energy Cell by Bra Look at this. As you can see, I just obtained the Red Ring from Zelda 1, and what would be worse than having that Energy Cell from Tears of the Kingdom breaking my immersion? Heresy! Phantom Ganon over Sedan by Legend 5v sees the deadliest duo in Hyrule come together. Although I don't think this iteration of Phantom Ganon is as good as Wind Waker or Ocarina of Time, I do think it does have the best design. Can't even play Magic Sphere Ball Tennis. Hate to see it. This next mod by Fat Cat Music gives Toolin a fully automatic rifle? What? Alrighty, well, Hyrule is an open carry state. So, uh, good for him, I guess. I feel really immersed in the world now. Oh boy. Ganon doesn't stand a chance. Alright, up next we have a few mods by Banan039, including the Angel Wings Paraglider submitted by Lord Bubbles. Now this mod operates a little bit differently. In order to actually obtain this mod, you must play and complete all 17 mainline Zelda games, as I have, in order to achieve enlightenment. Or just download them off Games Banana like the rest of these mods. Kalakdos is back. One of the best Zelda bosses ever has made his way into Tears of the Kingdom. Oh boy. These types of mods have me missing the old format of Zelda dungeons and bosses. Listen to this music and tell me you don't miss it. Shiver me timbers. Dark Link is also available as a companion. And oh, I guess he's ready for the runway. You wanna be on top? This is what happens when you put a dude over Riju. I'm sure there's nothing more bizarre than this. Ah! A completely normal Fierce Tidy Link mod. Okay. Well, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade and use Fierce Tidy Link as a bowling ball. Right, buddy? Nice throw. 
The very last mod we will be looking at are the Sheikah Techniques by Katsy123. And oh, I gotta give Katsy a lot of love because this is his very first mod and there has been so much work put into it. Right off the bat, you'll notice he based a lot of the animations off of Sheik from Smash Bros. And as a melee enthusiast, I approve. The mod description states that Link decided to get Sheikah training in the time between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom so that he can utilize his own abilities more. Nice lore. One thing that impressed me the most about this mod is the fact that an attack segues so well into other attacks. As you can see, Katsy is absolutely nuts at this game, so here's him demonstrating the fluidity of attacks. I've always been curious to see how Sheik would control in a mainline Zelda game. I think it would be similar to Smash Bros, and I think this mod captures that very well. I always look at the artwork for Ocarina of Time, where Link and Sheik are fighting back to back, and I've always wanted that implemented in Zelda, kind of like Arkham Knight. But what do y'all think? I'm a bit more stingy and want to stick with that single player Zelda experience, but I know people really want co-op mode. Let me know in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for 100 subs. I truly appreciate it. And yes, I know, I know I have not streamed like I said I would, but that's coming today. The man's gotta study. But go ahead and click the notification button so y'all do know when I do stream and I'll be seeing y'all later. Take care.